Hey, what's up? In today's episode, we're going to learn how to de-authenticate someone from a Wi-Fi network, literally kicking a user off the Wi-Fi network. One common use case for this is if you're trying to hack into a Wi-Fi network and you wanted to capture the four-way handshake between a device and a Wi-Fi network so that you can run the capture file into a word list that might contain the Wi-Fi password. So instead of waiting for someone to connect to the Wi-Fi network, you can just simply force a handshake by kicking a user off the Wi-Fi network, thereby allowing a handshake to be captured when the user's device reconnects automatically. Another use case of this attack is for DOS attack, also known as denial of service attack, where the attacker makes the Wi-Fi network unavailable to the intended victim. Now there are a bunch of different techniques to boot someone off your network, but this one that I'll be showing you is a technique called a de-authentication attack, where we are going to pretend to be the router. That can be accomplished by simply changing our MAC address to be the same as the router's, and by doing that, they're going to think that we are the router basically kicking them off the network. For this activity, you're going to need a laptop, a USB thumb drive to burn a live CD of Kali Linux into, and a Wi-Fi card that supports monitor mode such as this alpha Wi-Fi card that I have. A little disclaimer, this video is purely for educational purposes only. Please do note that deauthenticating a user off the Wi-Fi network is illegal. The only time that you can boot a user off the Wi-Fi network will either be if the connected device belongs to you or to someone who has given you explicit permission to do so. So if you already have everything you need, then we can begin. Alright, so I have downloaded the latest version of Kali Linux Live CD and burned it on my USB thumb drive using DD command on my Ubuntu machine. And this is the command that I use just in case you're wondering. That is the file name and that will be my USB device. Uh, and those are the options that I pass DD so that I may be able to see the progress as it burns the ISO file into my USB device. On Windows, you can use applications like Rufus, Balena Etcher, or Unit Bootin to flash Kali into your USB. They're all free to download. Now that I have burned Kali Linux into my USB device, I can now plug in my Alpha Wireless Network Adapter as well as my USB thumb drive into my desktop. In your case, it's your laptop. I'm going to reboot my desktop and press F11 to get to the boot menu. It can be a different key depending on your computer. I'm going to select to boot from my USB. And on the Kali boot menu, I'm going to just select the first option and hit return. Now that we have booted Kali, you can open up a terminal and type sudo bash to change into root user. If you want to find out if your Wi-Fi card supports monitor mode, you can type iwlist. And if you scroll up a bit under supported interface modes, if it says monitor, then your wireless network adapter is capable of monitor mode. If you scroll up to the very top, you can see the name assigned to your physical wireless device. In my case, it's Phi Zero. So to enable monitor mode on my device, all I have to do is type IW, which is the command to show and manipulate wireless devices and their configuration. Then pass the options Phi, then the name of your wireless device, for me is Phi Zero. Then interface add and then a label for this virtual network interface. We'll just label it mon0 and then type monitor to indicate that we want our network interface to be in monitor mode. If you type iwconfig, we can see that it has created our virtual network interface. We still need to bring that up 
So to do that, type ifconfig mon0 up, then, then type ifconfig to check if to check if it has indeed configured our network interface. We can now begin using mon0 to check for available Wi-Fi access points. All you have to do is type aerodump-ng. Then the interface name, mon0. And it will be able to pick up available access points under the column ESSID. To zero in to an access point, take note of its MAC address under the column BSSID and its channel under CH. Hit Control C to exit Aerodump, then again type Aerodump dash NG dash dash BSSID, then the MAC address of your target access point. We'll just copy and paste that and then dash dash channel then the channel number assigned to your target access point and then the name of the network interface mon0 if you press enter under the column labeled station You can see all the devices currently connected to the Wi-Fi access point. I can see that my phone is currently connected to the AP because my MAC address appears under the column station. If I go over to my Android phone and go to my Wi-Fi settings and then go to advanced, I can verify that it's the same MAC address that is currently connected. So to kick my phone out of the Wi-Fi network, all I have to do is type the following airplay-ng then pass the option dash dash d off then the number of times you want to execute a deauthentication we'll just put a count of 200 for now then dash a then the mac address of the access point we'll just copy and paste that again dash c then the client's mac address in my case, it's my phone. It's my phone's MAC address. We'll just copy and paste that also. Then lastly, the network interface, which is MON0. Hit return. And we got an error. Couldn't determine current channel for MON0. You should either force the operation with dash dash ignore dash negative one okay so we'll try that uh, we'll pass on that option ignore negative one and let's see if it deauthenticates my phone press enter and there we go it immediately after I hit the return key, airplay-ng immediately start deauthenticating. If I go over to my Android phone, I can see that I have lost my Wi-Fi connection entirely and I'm unable to access the internet. So that is all we have for this episode. If you have any questions or suggestions, please post them in the comments section down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them as soon as possible. Please hit the like button and share this video to your friends who, who you think might be interested. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're always updated on my new videos. Thanks for watching.